Hi kids, it's Mrs. Fravel again. How are you? Good. I'm glad. How I'm, I'm good. Um, I'm fine. This is fine. Um, hey, welcome to uh, oh my gosh, the last group of animals that we're gonna talk about for real. The last group. Uh, you guys should have finished up your mammals stuff last week. You should be submitting um your mammalian orders giant assignment. Um, come on, you can do it. It's not that hard. You can. I believe in you. I've had like 40 of them. There's more of you than that. So get them turned in. Uh, so I'm going to now, without further, much further ado, um, I'm going to talk about the last group of animals that we are going to study for this year. And that is the humans. Let me get this plan right. There we go. We're going to talk about the human animals. Um, are we the ultimate animal? We've talked about seven different phyla of animals from the simplest sponges, remember phylum periphera, way back, um, through Cnidaria, platyhelminthes, arthropoda, that was a lot of animals, um, echinodermata, mollusca, uh, reptilia, that all of the core, you guys, you have learned so many animals. Here's the last one. It's you. Are we the ultimate animal? Let's talk about where we come from. I would like you to please, as I go through this presentation, uh, please take notes. And then I would like you to uh, either upload a picture of your notes or you can do them as a Google Doc, but you need to prove to me that you watched this stupid video of me nerding out about human evolution, okay? All right, oh, my cat just came in. I'm gonna see my cat, you guys, real quick. No, no, she's being shy. Okay, anyway, here we go. The human animal. Where did we come from? First of all, what are we? I'm gonna pop out. There we go. Where are we in terms of taxonomy? So humans belong to a family of animals in the genus Primates or primates. Door, because the cats keep coming in. We are primates in the family hominidae, and I always say that wrong. I've been saying that word for 30 years, still have to think about it. Hominidae, and that is the family that includes all of the great apes, including gorillas, orangutans, chimpanzees, bonobos, which are similar to chimpanzees, and humans. Humans are the only um, species currently alive in the genus Homo. So this right here, this is your taxonomy. You've been doing taxonomy all year. This is yours. Okay. You are in the genus Homo. You are the species Homo sapiens in the family Hominidae. Who are your relatives? These guys. Okay. Bonobos, chimps, gorillas, and orangutans. Those are your closest living relatives. Um, the family hominidae, we share 99% of your DNA is the same as a chimpanzee's, 98% with gorillas. Uh, orangutans fall a little bit kind of significantly below that uh, because they split off from our evolution a longer time ago than the other apes. Okay. So the uh, human or the hominid, specifically the hominid family tree, looks like this. Remember how evolution works, okay? We did not evolve from apes. We did not evolve, air quotes, from monkeys or from apes. We evolved with them. We evolved alongside them. And we evolved just differently from them because of the environment that we were in and because of some genetic freak show that gave us this brain. Okay, So um, 9 to 13 million years ago, we had a common ancestor with orangutans. 8 to 12 million years ago, we had a common ancestor with a gorilla. 5 to 5.5, no, 5.5 to 7 million years ago, we had a common ancestor with chimpanzees and bonobos. Um, and they all went on their own evolutionary trajectory without us, separate from ours. Okay? Hominids, all of those great, great apes have these things in common. We all have a large size for a primate, not like for an animal, but for a primate with robust, strong forearms. We evolved in the trees in Africa originally. All of these great apes, other than us, are arboreal. 
that means they live in trees. We are not, but we still have those big arms, long arms, okay? Um, we have digits with flattened nails, which just means we don't have claws. We all have opposable thumbs. And what that means is this. If you take your hand and you take your thumb, you can touch each of your fingertips to your thumb. It's this joint right here the saddle joint in your thumb that makes you a hominid, not a human, a hominid, okay? I'm gonna pop back up my otherwise I don't, okay? These uh, all hominids also have no tail, unlike other primates, the lesser apes have tails. We have a larger than average brain case for our body size, and hominids have a prominent face and jaw. Our face sticks out from our head. Humans not so much, but the other ones definitely do. Okay. Uh, other hominid facts, we're omnivores, we should mostly be vegetarians. Um, this doesn't apply much to humans because we have giant brains that need more protein. Um, but we are good, all hominids are good climbers, uh, except for us, we don't have as much body, upper body strength as the other hominids. Um, we all have a complex social behaviors. Orangutans are more solitary, but the other groups, the other populations, we're all pretty social. Um, we use nests. Hi, you guys. That's what a house is. You're, you have a nest. So do chimps and gorillas and bonobos. They nest and it's a Horrible. Um, hominids give birth to a single young at a time, generally. I know that there are some of you who are twins or a triplet. That's not weird. It's just not common. Um, and we raise our babies, oh God, forever. Forever. How long have you lived at home? You've lived at home for a long, long time compared to other animals. We love our babies. We love you. Go hug your mom. Yesterday was Mother's Day. Go hug your mom. Okay. Uh, okay. uh, where are our ancestors now? Mostly in Africa with the populations of orangutans and gibbons, which is tech, gibbons are technically another great ape, just they're farther along the, farther away on the line, um, live in Southeast Asia. And then um, chimps, gorillas, and bonobos live in the jungles in Africa. And that's important. They live in the jungles in Africa. Okay? So where did we come from? Okay, what the heck is a human? A human is a taxonomic family and the technical term is a hominin. There is a group of animals called the hominins that you are a part of. Okay? This is an ancient group. We are not the only hominins. We're the only humans still alive. I'm gonna go through the two major groups of um, extinct humans. Um, this will probably take me another video to do. Sorry, if we were in class, I'd just be talking the whole time. So here we are, right? Um, but what does it mean to be a hominin? So all the great apes, that clade is called hominid. We are hominins. These are humans. And the things that make us humans mostly is that fully bipedal gait stand up, walk around. The fact that you can stand up and walk around without putting your knuckles down on the ground, that makes you a human the most. What came out of being able to do that is having a larger brain. You have a big old brain in your skull. Um, and hominins are all kind of classified as a single tribe of hominins that spread out of Africa and exploded in diversity, thanks to that bipedalism and that large brain. And again, we are more omnivorous than our cousins. Because of your big brain, you need more protein. And here's this website's really good. If you're curious, I'll try to remember to link it down below here with the other stuff I linked, okay? All right, so oh, where did we come from? Where are we going? Here we go. Um, we are not the tallest. We are not the strongest of the hominins. Um, our lineage in, from earliest to most modern looks about like this. The first bipedal human, Af um, Australopithecus afarensis, was, um, I mean, kind of short, habilis, very short. Homo erectus, however, which was the first human to walk out of Africa, very tall, right up there with us.
All right, where did this all start? Bipedalism started with a species called Australopithecus afarensis. This is the first truly bipedal human that we see in the fossil record. And this specimen specifically, which I have been very privileged to be able to see, was nicknamed Lucy. She was found in um, the mid 1900s, 1960. Um, Lucy and her kin, her tribe, lived 3.9 to 3.0 million years ago in East Africa. And again, the scientific name for this animal, this hominin, was Australopithecus afarensis. And that means southern ape from the Afar or Afar region. Not from Australia. Not from Australia. Afarensis had specific adaptations that you still also have to their body that uh, facilitated bipedalism. Um, it mostly has to do with how your hip, knee, and foot are oriented differently from other great apes who, st who knuckle walk. That's the difference. All other great apes, they can stand upright for a minute, but they can't really walk efficiently. They have kind of those bowed outward legs and knees. Um, humans have this nice straight leg, and we also have um, the way that our skull articulates with our vertebral column is at an upright angle instead of an outward angle. So we stand up and we walk and we have these nice big strong legs and that led to us being able to be out during the day. When we when we first see these changes in the fossil record in hominins uh, about 3.9 million years ago, the earth was undergoing some climate change. Climate change happens. Africa was drying out. It was losing all, of, not all, it was losing significant parts of its forest. Uh, those forests were being replaced by what we see now, which are grasslands and savannas. So that was um, not conducive for animals who needed to be in trees, which uh, human ancestors were. They, like I said, big swingy arms going through trees. Um, there was definitely a an opportunity for a genetic mistake or a genetic variation that helped an animal stand up on two legs and look over the grass, looking for predators and food in the middle of the day. It got hot on that new grassland. And during the day, the predators who were running around on four legs, they're taking naps. They still do. They all nap when they're running around on four legs. More of their body is exposed to the sun and it's too hot. So that genetic variability that, that always drives evolution at some point created a hominin that stood up straight and walked really well. And the only part of their body that was exposed to that horrid African savanna heat was the top of their head, not their whole body. And they were losing hair. We don't have much body hair like other mammals, right? That was more efficient to be able to cool your cool a body by sweating. Plus, standing up and running around, looking over the grass in the middle of the day and sweating your butt off, freed your hands with those opposable thumbs, you could carry things. So that's where we came from. That's where humans originated. That's why we stand the way that we stand and we run the way that we run and why we have the brain that we have. That comes out of that hands thing, holding things. Okay. Um, next time, I'm so I'm gonna stop this video. I'm gonna start another one, woohoo! And talk about um, some of our specific ancestors and what they look like and uh, how they led to us. Okay, so uh, this one's going to stop. Go watch the second video, okay, and finish your notes. Don't forget to do that. All right, see you in a minute. Okay, okay, bye.